Hello everyone and welcome to Paranormal Entities. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities. The number two rated ghost investigation. We're only number two? Anyways, uh, the number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors Cable Network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of paranormal activity on your camera, something happens. What happens? I don't know what happens. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, Hell yeah, <laughs> brother. You are, and when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. All right. Well, I am ready to pay off my student loans. And I'll tell you, if someone told me right now you could pay off all your student loans by just videotaping some ghosts, uh, yeah, I would go for it. Because to be quite frankly, to be quite frank, this uh, this actually sounds like a lot of fun. All right. So he said to go through the doors. He also said I have a bunch of different things. So can I access those things? I oh, whatever. I guess I can. Let's see. Nice. The door was unlocked. Ah get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Mm, that's, ter that's terrible. But honestly... That's what asylums kind of were back then, you know? No one really, unfortunately, tended to care for these people. These people were throwaways of society. And, uh, yeah, okay, where do I go? I came through this door. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no yeah. love here, no grace, no healing. The nope. patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society mm. together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters. That's a horrible combination. Let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came mm. to this place, you never left. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's kind of, I mean, don't be wrong, it's way worse than a nursing home, but it's kind of a nursing home for insane people. You're just put here to die. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. Ah, uh, yep. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients have passed through this room naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Ah! Be careful where you step. Oh, that's not cool. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Alright, demons, it's your boy. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Let us know that you're here. No, there's no nothing. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try that again. Uh, oh, let's go three feet over here. That should make a difference. All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. I did not hear anything that time either. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. 
Okay, this guy's kind of a coward because he's sending me in, but he's doing all the talking and stuff. He's willing to do all the talking and be here in spirit with me, no pun intended, but uh, he won't come here. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it. Back, it. Okay, back. I heard it. Yeah, here we go. Pricks, show up or piss off. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that. Oh, 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 oh. all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. I love how excited this guy is. The voice acting is top notch, guys. So, I, I think it's pretty good. It's funny. The guy's hilarious. So, kudos to the devs for that. There we go. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract. The e social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society ah. meet. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. What kind of, I mean, yeah, I get it was an asylum, but I don't think I've ever heard of an asylum having like depictions of people's eyes getting cut and stuff. This is the entrance to patient cells 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Hmm. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Yeah, sorry for not talking as much. And norm in my videos, I normally, especially if you're new, I normally talk a lot more than this. But the guy's commentary is really good in this, and I really don't want to miss it. The entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the mm, sociopaths. The fun ones. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. Clive the Peeper. You think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. Mm. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Let's just start the ceremony. All right, I'm down. How do we do this? Oh! Oh, 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 no, I don't want to do a pentagram. We release you from your restraints. Come forward oh, and live again. boy. Okay. shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way. Okay. I'm not liking this. I don't want you to... No, you're giving them permission to, like, mess with me, dude? I don't like that. Okay. No. Don't just stand there. Go, go check it <laughs> Screw out. Screw you, dude. This is creepy. I don't want to go in here. You not just see what happened? I know you can see everything through my camera. Nothing there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And nothing in... Okay. Nothing in there. I mean, there's something there, but I don't want to go in there. Okay. Anything here? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nothing in there. <laughs> what? What, you can't, you can't jump? I, d I don't know what just happened. Okay, I'm not liking this, man. Okay, just a bunch of cardboard boxes? Yeah, just cardboard boxes, okay. Nothing there. Nothing here. Ooh, and... Okay. I see this room is occupied. Uh, no. No, and... Okay, here we go. Really? Really? I don't... I don't want to. Hello? Hello? Okay, yep. Yep. 
Whoa, whoa, yes. Run. No eyes. Uh, okay. I'm out. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is kind of like... It's like being in a haunted house, like a theme park. Get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Second right, okay, not that. Okay, second right. There is no sprint button in this game, and I really don't like it. Doors locked. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Staircase, okay. staircase, staircase. Staircase, staircase you get a tiny door. Yeah, tiny door. Okay, okay. Next yep. To a fire escape, you should be able to get out that way. So okay. Go okay, I can't go over there. Okay, up the stairs we go. Up the stairs we go, up the stairs we go. Okay, uh, oh, music's quiet. I really thought this was the end. Okay, okay, I can't go through it. I can't go that way, man. I can't go that way. Crap, oh, okay, we need to, let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Okay. Oh, that was not there. I do not care. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. No, it was not there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What is going on? I don't know, dude. Right. You tell me. You need to tell me. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. I'm way ahead of you, man. I'm way ahead of you. Is that? Is that me? No, it's not me. It's something from the other side of the door. Okay, I thought my guy was having a panic attack, which would be completely justifiable right now because I would be having one. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, we got a door. And we got another pentagram. That's sweet. All right, and we got candles. Okay, dude. Dude, I am... I just want to get out of here. I got to get out of here, brother. How do I get out? <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, you just... You keep doing you. I'm going to just go this way. No. God, there are so many doors. And that guy's really going to town in there. Okay. Okay, okay. Anything in here? No, nothing in here. All right, let's keep going. I noticed the commentary from our uh, beloved producer has gone radio silent. Uh, okay, not these doors. I know I checked all these doors. I know for a fact I did. Why are none of the doors opening? And this was not this way. The candles weren't lit, and I don't think this room was here before. This is like a fun house, only it's not fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, and okay. Jesus, dude. So many freaking doors. So cool. it's like nothing's happened and oh, that's why nothing happened you bastard I hate you <laughs> why I should have had Fernando play this game <laughs> all right please I don't I don't my heart can't take much more dude I don't want more jump scares I know you won't want jump scares, but I don't want any more jump scares. Okay, the doors are all locked, and this is not how I left it, man. Enough with the changes. And... Okay. No eyes. No eyes. Don't see. Yeah, well, if you have no eyes, you don't see. No shit. Okay. I don't want to look up. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Okay. What? Hello? Can I get in the door? Can I the door? I don't understand. Yes, there's blood, but it, I don't. I don't see anything. Whoa! whoa Jesus Christ, dude! Oh, yeah, it's ramping up, man. There's a demon in here. This ain't no ghosts. These are demons. 
No, oh, dude, I don't want to fight demons. All right. Okay. Got it. Got it. I can't open that door. Okay, go through this door. Okay, we're in the doctor's office. And there's eyeballs. That's cool. Okay, what the hell's in here? Oh, there he is. Urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about mm -hmm. people and Clive Johnson. Mm -hmm. the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him, and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. Okay, yeah, this guy's crazy. Later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. Ah, Pattern didn't stop. so it's a pandemic of eye-taking. Yes. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Yeah, easy, uh, that we saw. No, 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 no. Let's get one thing straight. I have seen this. You have not. You're just watching through a camera. Damn flashlight broke. Oh, convenient. That and that's cool. Uh, no. No. No, I'm not going there. Screw you. Do I have to go to you? I don't want to go to the dead body over here. Mm, okay, nothing. How about this way? Come on closer. Uh, no. No, I don't want to come closer. Uh, that's cool. Oh, God, that is a big man. Holy shit. Okay, gate's open. Time to get the hell out of here. Nope. Okay, more bodies. I'm done. I'm out. No, I don't. I don't like these noises. I don't like these noises. Dude, I would run, but you didn't give me a sprint button. Open the door now, please. Let's go. Get me the hell out of here. I'm done. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Door time. Door, dude. I need the door. What in the hell is this? Like a tablet? Okay. Ooh, boy. You got a choice. I got a choice. What? I don't know what to do. Do I fight a demon or what do I do? I don't want to cut my eyes out. Do I fight a demon? I don't know. Oh my god! Fuck it! <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. Holy crap, man. I can't believe you just did that. I can't believe you just did that. Your eyes out with a scalpel. Are you all right? No. No. I know you're not. Huh? <laughs> Holy crap. All right. All right. We're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. No, there's nothing. In your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out. And we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm Hell no. Mm. Thanks, uh, guys. I love the support. Uh, I'm, if you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry. But we're not coming. Oh, nice. Thanks, guys. I'm sorry, man. Don't worry. I'll just feel my I way out. Go. I'll just... Feel the walls and work my way out. It's okay, don't worry, I got it. I can do this. What a bastard, dude. They are such assholes. Yeah, paranormal entities, at least will now be the number one paranormal show. Thank you for playing. Please leave a review on the page to let me know your thoughts about the game. 
My name is Al Heck, and I made this game in 10 days for Scream Jam. My friend John and I founded GameDevHQ.com. We believe game development is an amazing skill and a great tool to tell stories. If you've ever wanted to learn how to build a video game, we would love to show you how. This entire game was built using GameDevHQ training and its library of high-quality assets in the Unity 3D engine. And I missed the rest. All right, well, overall, guys, great job. If you want my two cents, which I know that probably doesn't mean very much, um... I do feel there was a little bit of redundancy, like with the doors, maybe just making things look a little different. Or maybe that's what you're going for. Maybe you're trying to make it look like you're just going insane and seeing the same thing over and over and over. So maybe that's what you're going for. And if that's the case, you hit the nail on the head. Overall, I really enjoyed playing it. And I hope you enjoyed watching me play it. Um, if you liked it, please give us a like. If you haven't already, maybe subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps out. Even leaving a comment will help out a lot. So with that, I hope to see you again. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. And remember to stay spooky, everybody. See you later. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Just wanted to let you know that we now have a podcast. Over there, we talk about all kinds of haunted history, spooky happenings, cryptids, aliens. You name it. If it's spooky, we're going to talk about it. If you'd like to check that out, use the link right over here. If you'd like to see another one of these kind of videos, like one of our horror game playthroughs, you can use the link right over here. With that, guys, I'll leave you to it. Remember to stay spooky and have a great night, everyone.